Ashes of Creation is about to show us the most important part of an MMORPG. Something that in a lot of people's minds will really make or break the game for them. Something that could make Ashes stand out above some of the more recent MMORPGs, or perhaps something that gives Ashes of Creation a bad name and pushes it towards its downfall. And that something is melee combat. In a few days, when Intrepid brings us their March developers update, we will get our first real look at the fighter class kit. And not just a fighter, but a Renkai fighter, as Steven just recently announced over on Twitter. And this will be the first time we actually see this race playable in the game. And with that fighter class archetype, we will get our best look yet at melee combat. Something that we haven't seen much of in almost two years, since we got our basic weapon combat preview after the big Alpha 1 revamp. And this has also been something that I was actually in the middle of scripting to talk about how the lack of seeing a melee class was a bit concerning, but now that the fighter has been announced and we know it's coming this week, well then, you know, I'm not as worried about it. Back in that first showcase though, melee combat looked good, at least for a first look at a massive revamp. Well, it definitely had more polish needed, along with giving weapons some weight and feeling to them so they felt less floaty, along with developing the vast number of melee abilities that are expected with these archetypes. But overall, it was a pretty good first showcase. But here we are two years later, and this is really the first time we're getting a good look at melee combat since that initial showcase. We've seen ranged combat in the past with the mage and the ranger, healing with the cleric, and the tank showcase, which is really the best case melee DPS we've seen. But even then, tanks aren't meant to be dishing out massive amounts of damage and moving quickly along the battlefield. We even got a sneak peek at the Bard, which I assume will be another short to mid-range caster. But up until this point, the Rogue and the Fighter, the two primary melee DPS archetypes have been absent, and that means there is going to be a lot riding on this showcase. As I said, combat is one of the most important features an MMORPG can have. If it's bad, it could ruin the game for a lot of people. No one wants to put hundreds of hours into a game like Ashes of Creation when the system you are using the majority of the time is terrible. But when the combat is good, well, people will hold that game above all else, and you will constantly hear, why why couldn't this game do combat like Ashes of Creation does? Luckily though, Intrepid Studios has shown us many, many times that they are building a game based off player feedback, and this has been proven time and time again as we continue to progress through development and see features get fleshed out based on what players are thinking and based on the feedback they've received, and now it is time to make melee combat the best it possibly can by continuing to give that feedback and seeing this next iteration that Intrepid is about to show us. As I said earlier, last time we saw Melee and the Fighter, combat was hugely improved over Alpha 1, but it still felt floaty. Weapons such as the two-handed sword didn't feel like they were any heavier than the dual-wielding daggers, really making you wonder why you'd want to carry multiple weapons if they felt the exact same. Fortunately though, this was an early iteration of a new system, and the showcase was meant for Intrepid to build feedback from players as they continued to progress in Melee development. So this time around, we will hopefully be seeing some big changes based off that initial feedback. While it sounds that the primary focus will be the fighter, I do hope we see a good variety of weapons again to really see how Intrepid is making each weapon feel its own, even if it doesn't necessarily fit that two-handed sword stance that we keep seeing from the fighters in the background in various showcases. But the biggest thing I want out of this stream is for Intrepid to finally take a stand on the hybrid combat hill or admit that this is in fact a tab targeting game because we have seen very little of the action camera lately. And we've really seen no action combat abilities in a long time, and it really seems like they are moving away from that mindset. Although it was mentioned a few streams ago that the action camera is still there and it has been bugged out, but we really haven't seen action in a long time, and with the melee archetypes on the line this time around, I want to see this addressed. Show me the action camera or give up on the hybrid system. That's pretty much where I'm at with that right now. The stream isn't just about the fighter though, the stream will show us some world progress within Vera and some story arc progression as we head back into Oakenbane Keep, a zone we first saw over a year ago when Intrepid gave us our first look at that tank archetype. 
and a zone that was teased again in the last showcase as a story arc was triggered in the end, igniting the tree in the background with what appears to be flames setting off a big change in the environment. So it'll be pretty exciting to revisit a zone and see the progress Intrepid has made on it in the last year, along with seeing another story arc come into play besides the Tower of Carfin. But more importantly, and more of a stretch, I am very hopeful that we could be getting a tease of stage four nodes, which is something we have not seen in Alpha 1, in any of the Alpha 2 gameplay. It's something that has been pretty much under wraps. And this was kind of alluded to at the end of the last showcase, where we saw a countdown timer and the text for a node leveling up, but we didn't actually see any nodes level up in the area. So, I'm hoping that that was actually a tease for something bigger, and maybe we're gonna jump into a stage four node this time around when Steven starts out the stream. But that's just getting my hopes up. We will have to wait until Friday to find out.